Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an interesting question from a developer working with ExoPlayer 2 for HLS video streaming. They want to know if it's possible to manually change the video resolution from the user interface. Adaptive streaming is already functioning well, but they're looking to give users the ability to select resolutions like 144p, 240p, or 480p. They've gathered the resolution data using the Track Group API but they're unsure how to implement this feature. Let's dive into this challenge and explore how to make it happen. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through a question, going through those answers, and hopefully it leads to your solution. Remember, stay a little bit crazy, just like me, to get through to your resolution. Now let's get started. To manually change the resolution in ExoPlayer, we first need to understand how to access the available tracks. ExoPlayer provides a track selector that allows us to select different video resolutions. Next, we need to create a user interface that allows users to select their desired resolution. This could be a drop-down menu or a set of buttons for each resolution option. Once the user selects a resolution, we can use the track selector to change the selected track. We will need to implement a listener to handle the user's selection. Finally, ensure that the player updates to reflect the new resolution. You may want to add some feedback to the user, indicating that the resolution has changed successfully. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Yes, you can manually change the resolution in ExoPlayer using the Track Selector. This feature allows you to limit the available tracks for adaptive bitrate selection. However, your options are restricted to the resolutions and bit rates provided by the stream's manifest file. You can't select arbitrary values outside of what's available. If you want to restrict to just one track, you can configure the selector to allow only that specific track. For more details on track selection, you can check the ExoPlayer documentation linked in the description. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped get you that answer that you're looking for. Now, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe for more question and answer videos. And if you have any more, please just shoot them through in the comments. Have a good one.